Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp Pro Partner. In this very short tutorial, I'll demonstrate how we can add and remove fields from our MailChimp audience. So let's go across to MailChimp. I'm in MailChimp at the moment, I'm logged in. Now there are various ways or various places that we can add and remove fields and I'll just show you one of the ways we can do it. So if we go into our audience itself, so go to your audience dashboard and I'll just view my contacts. You can always re-watch this video if you enjoy it and by the way please subscribe to my channel and please like this video if you find it useful. So you'll notice we have various fields here, first name, last name, etc. This attended event field Let's say we want to remove that and we wanted to add a field called um, favorite color. So the way we could remove this field, for example, and add our favorite color field is we would just go to settings and then to audience fields and merge tags. I'll click that. And here we're seeing our various fields and, and I'll go through in a second what we what we're looking at. So firstly, let me just delete this attended event field. All we do is we quite simply click the little rubbish bin. Delete. And MailChimp says, am I sure we want to delete? So let's just type in delete. And I'll click delete again. And we'll just wait for this to load up. And what we'll notice then is that the audience, uh, uh, sorry, that field is then gone. So let's just view our audience very quickly. View contacts. And you'll notice that attended event field is now gone. So when we delete a field, just to be clear, it doesn't delete the contacts. It deletes the field and the data in that field. So you might want to, and it's probably a good idea, to export your audience first of all, just to have a backup. So how do we then add our favorite color uh, field, for example? Well, we can quite simply go to settings, and again, audience field and fields and merge tags, excuse me. If we scroll to the bottom, and I'll just make sure we can see, yes we can, if I click add a field, so I'll click add a field, and I'll, I'll just scroll down a little bit more, um, yeah you can see I'm just making sure I'm not in my way on the camera here. Now I'll just add a text field for favorite color, but you can select any of these others, and just to let you know the difference between date and birthday is the birthday field doesn't require a year, whereas the date field does, but let me select text and we'll just wait for this to load up and then we'll add our favorite color. So if I scroll down at the bottom here you can see uh, that I have an untitled field, a new field. So what I'll do is I'll just call that fave and let's just um, add the word color for example. And quite simply I could click save changes but let me explain further things that are happening here. So required is, is it required when someone uses a MailChimp form? Is it mandatory that someone fills that? Visible means, is this field visible on MailChimp provided sign-up forms or, uh, for example, the update uh, profile field? Do you want this to be visible? You might not want it visible. If you don't want it visible, just uncheck it quite simply and it won't be visible on those fields. Now, by the way, I did mention the on, you know, is it visible on the MailChimp sign-up forms because many integrations, for example, if you're using a WordPress site, maybe Shopify, uh, maybe the settings in that form will override this anyway. So you can make that um, visible or not, and then quite simply we'll click Save Changes. If we then look at our audience, so let's just, uh, let's just, sorry I didn't mean to click Overview, but let's click All Contacts. And what you'll notice now is that we have our favorite color field, and we can go ahead and import contacts or whatever to populate that favorite color field. Please like this video. My name's Gary from organicweb.com.au.